Okay, so this is actually a video that I wasn't expecting to do. Um, I kind of felt that I'd already done my whole Kit kat tasting thing, but some friends just came from South Africa, and knowing um, that I'm a fanatic of Kit Kats, they brought me some South African Kit Kats. So I'm gonna give them a try. Um, as you already know, I've tried some Kit Kats from Japan, Kit Kats from the UK, Kit Kats from Spain, and now South Africa, and hopefully I'll be able to compare them. Let's see. Alright, so the first thing is, um, I've got three different Kit Kats from South Africa, and I noticed that on the side, on the spine of each Kit Kat, it actually tells you what Kit Kat it is. Um, so the first one says crisp wafer fingers covered in milk chocolate. So this is just the original normal Kit Kat that you get all around the world. So this would be a very interesting taste, a comparison test. Um, the second one is crisp wafer fingers covered in dark chocolate. Now I had a dark chocolate Kit Kat um, from Spain and I've also had a dark chocolate Kit Kat from the UK. So I'll also be able to compare those if I remember. And the final one is uh, one that's covered in white chocolate. It says, crisp wafer fingers covered in white confection. White confection, not chocolate. What's the difference? Do you know? Let me know. What's the difference between white chocolate and white confection? All right, although some people say that white chocolate isn't really chocolate. I'm not very sure. I'm a fan of white chocolate. I prefer milk chocolate, like dark chocolate. White chocolate is my third favorite, I guess. But then again, there aren't many chocolate options, are there? So, let's start off with the original um, Kit Kat. So, the one that's just covered in milk chocolate. So, first thing, this Kit Kat is very similar to the um, Spanish one because it's covered in a wrapper. And remember, the, the UK one had foil? You could actually slice the foil and you could just snap it and share it that way. Well, this one is more in line with the Spanish. So let's see, tear here, it says tear here. I don't know if you can see it, it says tear here. And all of them say tear here, so convenience. I don't know why I can't tear there, but I have to tear there <laughs> anyway. So, right, and the tearing wasn't very good because it didn't really tear very well. All right, so, okay, so it has the Kit Kat logo. It's a little bit uh, melted, but it doesn't matter. Has a Kit Kat logo, like the other Kit Kats, and let's give it a go. I'd say that this Kit Kat is very similar to the Spanish Kit Kat. I don't know, there's something, there's something about the UK Kit Kats. Maybe it's because what it's what I'm used to, because we get British products here in Gibraltar, and. Um, the British Kit Kat, I think, is much richer. The um, wafer is slightly different, I think, in the British Kit Kat. And the chocolate is a lot milkier. Um, you know, British people, people from the UK, they usually, they are quite chocoholics. And I think you can't mess around with chocolate with an English person, or with a Welsh, or with a British person, basically. They know their chocolate. People normally think the Swiss, but I think that British people know their chocolate also. So, that one's quite good. More similar to the Spanish um, Kit Kat. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna try the dark chocolate one. Now, again, like I said, I've had a dark chocolate British Kit Kat, and I've had a dark chocolate Spanish Kit Kat, and this is a South African one, and I'm gonna tear it from what it says. Tear here. It doesn't say opening, it says tear here. Oh. Now that was a much better tear. Oh, I can smell the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, yeah. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but we have a logo there, Kit Kat logo. And, mmm. Right. I think that this Kit Kat might be better than the British or the Spanish Kit Kat, the dark chocolate version. Um, the wafer is quite standard Kit Kat wafer, but the dark chocolate is super rich. It's like, for some reason, it tastes like it's, um, it might be better quality dark chocolate. 
But then again, it might be as a result of having tasted the milk chocolate Kit Kat previously that I might be tricked into thinking that it's really, really high quality dark chocolate. But it is really nice. And finally, we're gonna have a try of the white confection Kit Kat. Not white chocolate, white confection Kit Kat. Um, so I guess I can say that I haven't had a white confection um, Kit Kat. It says smooth white. I don't know. Smooth white. Let's put it go. It's got the Kit Kat logo. And it smells very much like a milky bar. That kind of white chocolate. Right. Hmm. I have to think. I'm trying to get away, get the dark chocolate flavour out of my mouth. This one is really nice. I think it's really, really good because the wafer doesn't detract from the actual white confection, white chocolate. Um, you get a real strong white chocolate flavour, as in, as if you were eating a white chocolate bar. But then you have the crunch of the wafer that you can't really taste. But at the same time, it kind of gives you that Kit Kat feeling, if you know what I mean. I think that out of the three, the white confection Kit Kat, the white chocolate Kit Kat is my favourite. The, the milk chocolate Kit Kat was a little bit like, hmm. Nothing special there. The dark chocolate one was really, really rich. And even though I really like the dark chocolate one, I think that it was a little bit yucky. I don't think I could eat a whole dark chocolate Kit Kat. The white chocolate one leaves me wanting more. It's easy to eat. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's tasty. It's just a nice um, white chocolate Kit Kat. So, a white confection Kit Kat. So I'd say this is by far my favourite Kit Kat from South Africa. What do you think? Are you from South Africa? Have you ever had a Kit Kat from another country? What do you think? Maybe you think that your milk chocolate Kit Kat is far better, far superior than ours. Maybe it's what you're used to. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that I am wrong. Remember this is just my opinion. Eh? Anyway, keep on watching. See you soon. We've come to Marbella, we're gonna have, I thought we were going to Puerto Vaduz, but we've come to ba Marbella and um, we're just wasting a little bit of time, making up some time before the restaurant opens, walking. <laughs>